Okay, I'm going to do a demo on perspective projection. So they are one point perspective, two point perspective, and three point perspective. Um, there's also fish eye and infinity, but we're not going to cover that. So before we get into perspectives, we, let's do a recap. Orthographic projection, which are multi-view drawings such as a plan. In this case, I'm drawing a, uh, a top view. So, so this is a top view of a kind of like an A-frame house. view set of drawings here so here's the top view here's your elevations and then we're going to do a parallel drawing and we know parallel drawings that the axes are in parallel so I'm doing a kind of a isometric I guess here so your z axis here is parallel, right? And then your x axis is also in parallel. So is your y axis. So this is parallel, and then this is parallel. Something like that. And then you want to find a midpoint, right? You can do something like that. I'm doing here. And then you can maybe measure it. I'm just eyeballing. So this is a paralline drawing. So let's talk about perspectives. Let's start with the one point. So imagine you are standing in front. Let's say you are standing The structure here. So this in perspective turn this is called a station point. That's where you're standing. And then your eye level creates a horizon line. So this line here in relationship to your eyeball is your horizon line. Of course, this is your ground line. And then also, this is your kind of like your ground plane. <coughs> Another way to look at one point perspective is you are, is a picture plane. So, so the picture plane. picture plane is perpendicular to you. This structure will be projected onto this picture plane. So we have station point, we have a horizon line, ground line, and the picture plane. So with that in mind, we can start to illustrate this image in one point perspective. So I'm going to start with just drawing a horizontal line, and I'm going to say this is your horizon line. 
And then we can also draw the next line. Perhaps this is your ground line. Where the station, where you're standing, where the station point is, and when you're looking directly at this image, that's is your center of vision. It's also your vanishing point. This is the vanishing point. So now I can perhaps draw this structure. And the size of this, the size of this structure is converging to the single point. So in two-point perspective, imagine you are standing on the corner here. And you're looking at the corner. So your picture plane, again, so the picture plane is perpendicular to where you're standing. So in two-point perspective, you have two vanishing points. That's why it's called two-point perspective. So imagine this is the horizon, horizon again. So instead of having one vanishing point, we're gonna have two vanishing points. So thus, this goes into one point, and then on this side goes to another point. So here we have a vanishing point left, and then we have a vanishing point right. So I am, say, I'm standing right here, right? So going to that vanishing point, and it goes to that vanishing point. I'm going to just eyeball this. The last one is the three-point perspective. So imagine you are climbing a ladder. Like you're on a ladder here. down at this structure, right? So the picture plane 
is on an angle. Again, it's perpendicular to you. So that's a three-point perspective. So I'm going to start with, again, drawing the horizon line. And since I'm on the corner, it's a two-point. But I'm looking down, so there's actually a third point. So imagine there's a point all the way down here. And since I am above the horizon line, so my the structure will look something like this. So it still kind of goes to these two points, like two point perspective. But now you have the third point here. So you have a vanishing point left, vanishing point right, and then you have a vanishing point here in the bottom. So now it's not a vertical line, but now this goes to this point down here. Something like that. it we went over an orthographic projection where we have a multi view sets of drawing you have a top view and elevations and then here we have a paraline drawing and this is an isometric drawing and then we have a one-point perspective which is a perspective projection and then we have a two-point perspective here. And then we have a three-point perspective. In interior design, we mostly use one-point or two-point. We rarely use a three-point. And some of the key terminologies that you should understand are your horizon line, your vanishing point, station point, picture plane and ground line. Well, there you have it. Perspective projections. <laughs>